Hey everybody. So it's going to be my 16th vlog. And today is Thanksgiving Monday in Canada. And today is the saddest day of my life, the hardest day of my life. Yesterday, my mom went into hospital for a palliative care, and we got a phone call this morning that my mom's health was deteriorating fast overnight, and today, the time is 2.15 p.m. It'll be almost two hours since my mom passed away. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to see. I'm in mourning right now and I I feel like I can't go on. I feel like I can't do this. I, I want to be alone, but at the same time I know I shouldn't be alone. I need to be with my family, right? I've just finished freaking out for half an hour straight, and I, for the first time ever, I've cried the hardest, I've screamed, yelled, everything, it all just came out, and I feel like, I'm calm right now, calm enough anyways, but Right now, I just, uh, fuck, this, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to witness, it's the hardest thing I've ever had to see, it's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. <sighs> Seeing her just go the way she did, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish that upon anybody, you know, if, if your mom is still around and don't don't disrespect your mom don't don't hurt your mom in any way shape or form love your mom spend as much time with your mom as you can and same with your same with your dad spend as much time as you can with them because eventually they leave they leave you know and it's like, it really messes with your head this is a day that I knew it was coming, but I never thought it would affect me this badly. Like, because there's so much I want to say to my mom. There's so much I want to let out and get off my chest. And now I, I guess I still can. But, but now it's talking to her spirit, talking to her conscience. I wish, I wish she could be here right now, standing right beside me. I wish she was, so that way she could hear everything I want to say to her. I want to apologize for being not the greatest, greatest son. I want to apologize for giving her such a hard time these last few years. A lot of people, a lot of people cope with it in different ways, and for the longest time I thought I would cope with it by drinking, because that's how my mom was, she coped with a lot of things by drinking, but then she would take it out on me, and that was my whole life growing up, but she got clean, she, she got sober, and she told me not to drink, and that's what I'm going to do, I'm not going to drink. The way I'm going to cope with it is, if I have to cry, if I feel like I need to cry, I'm going to cry, I'm going to scream, I'm going to freak out like I did moments ago. And 
some people will say, you know, you're just a pussy, blah, blah, blah. It's, they don't, those people don't understand. Those people are hard-headed. They're simple-minded. They don't see what, what really happens, you know? Like, My mom always told me that when she goes, when I have to bury her, not to cry. Because she believed that if you cry, it means you've hurt your mom, it means you've got a lot of regrets. And that's what I was made to believe when I was a kid, but when she found out she had cancer just two months ago, no, just last month actually, just August 30th, we found out that she had stage 3 cancer. When she found out, she told me to cry. She wanted me to cry. She wanted me to cry in that moment that I found out that she had cancer. And I almost cried, but I stopped myself and I was being strong. I was strong for the longest time. The first time I ever cried was with my mom. I've cried while hugging her. She was laying in her hospital bed, which she has in the living room right now. And I sat with her in the morning. We were talking and I held her and I cried. And she said, it's okay, my baby boy. Cry, let it out. And I cried for maybe two minutes. And then I stopped. I really wish I would have spent a lot more time with my mom. I wish I would have been able to do more for her. You know, in these last two weeks, it's, it was hard taking care of her. And all the con, all the constant, uh, the constant calling for me. It really irritated me at a point, and, but you know, there's nothing I could do. I can't get mad at her because it's not her fault. She can't. She couldn't do much, right? <clears throat> so no, no, she's gone. You know. It's, fuck. All I, all I want to say is that I regret getting mad at her knowing it's not her fault. You know, it's the cancer. She was deteriorating. Her, her mind was going. Had I known that she was going to pass away today, I would have stopped my sister from putting her in the hospital. Because my mom's wish was to die at home. She didn't want no treatment. She didn't want. She didn't want to keep living, you know. But I guess we all just saw. We all just saw it from one point of view, and that's we're taking care of her as best as we can. But we can't take care of her anymore. It's getting too hard on all of us mentally and physically, and the end result now is. She is gone. I watched her die right in front of me. We all did. And I didn't know it at the time, but I took a picture of my sister and my auntie holding my mom's hand. I didn't know it at the time but she was already gone. We didn't even know. But I, when after I, I, after I was done taking the picture and I looked at her, because when I look at her, I look at her chest like right above here to make sure she's still breathing, you know? I would look there, well, I had my glasses off and I was looking there. I don't have very good eyesight, but it looked like she wasn't breathing no more. Then I would start freaking out. I was like shaking. I was panicking a bit and I grabbed my glasses I put my glasses on and then 
I, uh, I looked at her chest again to see if she, to see if she was breathing, and she wasn't. I, I held her hand, I was like, Mom, Mom, and then that's when it clicked into everybody's head that my mom was gone, and it's the hardest thing, like, then my sisters come in, and they're, they scream, no, they're freaking out too, everyone's freaking out, and I'm freaking out, and when I was crying, I couldn't stop shaking, I, I feel like blaming myself for not fulfilling my mom's wishes. <sighs> I'm sorry that, I'm sorry. I need to stop crying. <sighs> Anyways, guys, just love your mom. Don't ever take Don't ever take your mother for granted. It's the worst thing you can do to your own mom. And your own father. Don't, don't take your parents for granted. Mom, wherever you are, I love you, and I'm gonna miss you every single day. There's always gonna be constant reminders, and I just wanna th thank you for being the best that you can be. I want to thank you for doing your best with whatever you had. I love you. One day we'll meet again. It's bound to happen. So, I love you, Mom. Alright, guys. Alright. Everybody, you guys just have an awesome day. Take care of yourselves.